The Buckeyes are back at it. Ohio State just landed a commitment from four-star linebacker T.J. Alford, the nation's number eight linebacker, announced his decision moments ago. In this video, we're going to find out how Ohio State was able to beat Miami, FSU, and Tennessee for the talented linebacker from Vero Beach High School down in Florida. But first, Ohio State fans, this is exciting times. We got you covered. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. Okay, let's bring on my guy Matt Parker from Letterman Row. Now, Matt, can you take us behind the scenes in this one? How was Ohio State able to go into the state of Florida and get a linebacker that, well, really all three teams in the state of Florida wanted plus Tennessee? Yeah, Josh, it really started – and I think we touched upon this earlier in the week on the inside scoop, but it all started back last June when Ohio State got TJ Alford on campus uh, for one of the Buckeyes recruiting camps. From there, he got to work with James Laurinaitis, who at the time was a graduate assistant, now is the full time linebackers coach for Ohio State. Uh, and from there, it was just a hands on experience for TJ Alford to get to learn. Uh, from one of Ohio State's all-time great linebackers now running the room for Ohio State. And then from there, it's just building the relationship. Ohio State has really, really put an emphasis and a premium on TJ Alford. They think that he is the number one linebacker in this 2025 cycle, and they made him know that throughout this entire recruitment that uh, goes back to June of 2023. And then we see this relationship really start to take off uh, in about October or so. When uh, T.J. Alford locks in an unofficial visit for the Ohio State-Michigan State game, that was November 11th, he makes it to campus. I can tell you being down on the field, it was a pretty cold day, which is always a, a, a nighttime uh, game for Ohio State there. And uh, you always get a little bit nervous when the South Florida guys <laughs> from South Florida guys come up when there's snow in the forecast. But uh, Ohio State made it through that visit. Uh, he was back on campus a week before his commitment, and that's really when Ohio State locked it in. Mm, yeah, a, a huge pickup for the Buckeyes. Now, what does Alford bring to this defense? It, it's just an athletic guy. I mean, he can play the Mike linebacker. He can play the Will linebacker. When I spoke with him after his Ohio State unofficial visit last weekend, he told, and I asked him the question, I was like, who are some guys that you were really watching during practice last weekend. And he mentioned the two guys that he had locked in on were Sonny Styles and CJ Hicks, both of which are guys from the 2021 class who really ended up as five-star prospects. I believe both of them were five-star plus prospects. So if we go back and really look at it, uh, freaky athletic linebackers who can play sideline to sideline. Uh, but TJ Alford is the kind of guy who brings that physical aspect to, to his game, Josh. I mean, he can line up seven, eight yards back away from the ball and the closing speed that TJ Alford has. Ooh, I would not want to be on the other side of that hit. I'll tell you that right now. All right. So Ohio State fans are excited. I mean, they're in the comment section right now throwing up Buckeyes and go Ohio State and all that. But they landed him over the Miami Hurricanes. And when there's six to eight months left of recruiting until signing day, Ohio State fans also know that the Miami Hurricanes have been a thorn in their side. So is there a plan here, uh, or should we just expect a battle until signing day from T.J. Alford? Because he is an in-state prospect in the state of Florida, coveted by the Canes and the Seminoles. Uh, how, how can Ohio State hold on here? I think it just really goes back to having a lot of trust and faith into that relationship. Uh, we've seen in the last, I think, three or four recruiting cycles now, it's always been a running back that has gone yep. to, uh, that has always flipped from Ohio State to Miami, ended up signing with Miami, Jordan Lyle being the most recent guy in the 2024 class there. Um, but with TJ Alford, it's a little bit different. He has been really, really open about the fact that you know, relationships and development are at the forefront of his recruitment. And Ohio State, Josh, has a sign inside their indoor facility that says developed here. Like that's their big thing when it comes to uh, recruiting with guys such as TJ Alford, who has put a lot of faith and a lot of trust into James Laurinaitis to do just that. So I can't say it would be pretty naive of me to say, you know, don't worry about the Miamis and the Florida States. And even Florida, for that matter, who initially at the very beginning of this recruitment was in pole position yeah. and Ohio State kind of took them over. I can't say to not worry about that. But as we know, in the modern era of recruiting, recruiting doesn't stop for any program. And that includes Ohio State. 
if anything, when the Buckeyes get these guys committed, they recruit them harder to make sure that they know why that they chose Ohio State and why Ohio State chose them as well. Mm. Yeah, Justin Scott was another. That might maybe that one flew under the radar just a little bit. I don't know, but that was another yeah, one. Yeah, just a, a bit of an one. outlier there. Surprise commitment. Uh maybe not so much of a surprise decommitment there. All right. So point remain. What's next at the linebacker position? How many are we looking at Ohio State needing in this cycle? How many do you think they end up signing in this cycle? Ideally, Ohio State would get one more linebacker. They're they're mm-hmm. trying to get three for the 2025 cycle. Some names like uh elijah melendez who is currently committed to miami that's someone that ohio state is trying to flip and has been working on for a long time elijah barnes and riley pettijohn out of texas um but i just can't say right now that i see ohio state getting the third linebacker that they want Mm -hmm. um they already have now tj alford in the class they've had eli lee the three-star linebacker from ohio committed in october and if signing day was today those would be two pretty good linebackers for Ohio State to bring into the fold. Yeah, absolutely. And all jokes aside, it does feel a little bit different this offseason. We've talked a lot on the inside scoop about Ohio State recruiting with a sense of urgency this offseason. There's numerous reasons why, uh, but it does feel a little bit different. So huge pickup, number eight linebacker in America, TJ Alford, commits to Ohio State just moments ago. Matt Parker from Letterman Row, you guys do a great job covering recruiting and all things Ohio State football. Appreciate you dropping by today to recap this big commitment. Appreciate the time, Josh. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed that, go check out the hundreds of videos that we have on this channel. And also do me a favor, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel.